Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, I figured I would show you something that I think is kind of cool. Uh, for those that have followed my main channel for a long, long time, you know that uh, I was pretty involved with building theater sets uh, for, for live theater, whether it's you know community theater, or college level, high school, whatever. Well, typically with those sets, I don't have the amount of time and everything to... Um, to videotape it. You know, I've been doing that for quite a few years, but I'm pretty excited today because I got me some first stripping, two by two and one by three. One by three is over here. I'm trying to, it's hard to look at the camera. Um, and I just, I, a couple little things that I have to build. They're basically, it's a one act play and they're essentially skeletons of a washer and dryer. Nothing overly complex and nothing like highly in-depth joinery or, or any of that stuff. But I'm pretty excited about it because uh, I think I'm going to be able to videotape this. And I, I got to have these done, I think, in three days. So I'm going to try and knock those out today uh, and videotape that. And hopefully I'll be able to show that in the near future. I don't know, you know, with, with everything, when, when it's exactly going to be out and all that stuff. Um... But then there's also some false walls, but I have, let me hear, I got other supplies that I had to pick up. Um, but like I said, yeah, quite, quite a bit of, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much all ripped down, ready to go. Uh, or I should say, I don't have to rip it down. I might. I'm kind of particular sometimes. Uh, but basically something that kind of gets uh, screwed and glued together. Uh, drywall screws, in fact, let me... I, I have a ton of these big buckets of screws and drywall screws in different lengths. Um, and they're just, they just always sit around my shop. And that's typically what theater sets get built out of. It's not typically wood screws. They save on money and they typically add more screws than, than generally um, needed. Because it's most of the time not even like a pilot hole countersink scenario. A lot of times it's two by fours. One by material, two by sixes, stuff like that, for any type of wagons, platforms, flats, and so I'm I'm pretty excited that I get to build that today because I, once in a while I like to just go out to my shop, no plans and very actually very little measuring, because not only that you you really can't even measure like I said this is a skeleton frame, um, it's not supposed to look like a washer and dryer it's supposed to give the impression of a washer and dryer. But a lot of times with theater, you're not building things to scale. So it's not like I have to measure um, a, a, an actual washer and dryer and, and, and go off of that. A lot of times the scale is even larger. If you, if at all possible, make doorways taller or larger, depending on how the, 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 the scene is and the actual theater itself. If it's like a, a standard proscenium uh, stage, and the first row is like 30 or 40 feet back or yeah then you need to make it look bigger and the weird thing is too with theater lighting this is all brand new bare wood right well i'm gonna have to paint the wood to look like wood in fact i don't know if you guys have ever seen that one I, I might have shown that once or twice um but that's that's a sign that i made uh for a different theater set um technically set dressing because a prop would be more something that uh, uh, the cast interacts with. They touch, they hold, they feel, something like that. Uh, but that would be more set dressing, scenery, stuff like that. But that was brand new wood. In fact, I'll give you guys a better look at it. I was hoping to be able to do this on my YouTube channel at some point. That sign took about a half hour to make. And it was brand new one by uh, Pine. Uh, not select and the knot that's actually like right there there was no knot in the board that was just a spade bit at an angle so I, I do like doing stuff like that to where this thing is just gonna hopefully go together real quick uh, pretty rudimentary joinery I wanted to share that with you guys give you a heads up that I'm hoping to be able to have a video out on that and then there's three or four other scenes I have to make for this one act play I don't know if I'm going to make any of this stuff collapsible or foldable or anything like that, but it is a traveling one act. So uh, space is, is sometimes of an essence or a concern because 
Um, well, just because they don't want to transport large stuff if it folds down, breaks down. Uh, also, just got back from WIA. Uh, got back at around eh, midnight, one in the morning this morning. And that was an absolute blast. Uh, to all of you that I got to meet for the first time, uh, such an awesome time. And then a lot of you guys I actually got to meet for second and sometimes third time. So that was really cool. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a drive for me. That ended up being right around eight hours. If if, if we don't stop. We, I just stop and get gas a couple times. But um, what else do I got going on? I have to... Here, let me walk around here. I uh, In the last build video, the collaboration with Jay and April, I did this um, storage container, like shoebox container organizer to go underneath my assembly table. That's really cool. Um, I didn't have time to put it in the video, but a uh, craft paper roll holder on the end. And then also I'm going to be essentially adding power and air to this uh, assembly table so that it can be not only an outfeed table, not only an assembling table or assembly table, but then I can also sand on it. Uh, I can use, you know, whether it's an electric sander, random orbit sander, or my pneumatic DA sander. And then the craft paper comes out for any type of glue up or finishing. And then it'll be a finishing station. And hopefully like a central vac kind of located in it as well for the sanding. Uh, I'm working on that for, I don't think this upcoming week. And... With collaborating with Jay and April, they, they both release their uh, main build videos on Sundays, and I actually might switch to that. It just seems to fit my schedule a little bit better to, I don't know, it, it's it's hard to explain, because I mean, there's only seven days in the week, I guess if you manage it properly, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter, but it just seems to give me a good buffer of that weekend. If, if I slack off during the week, <laughs> I still have the weekend to kind of, anyways... I digress. It's, there'll probably never be a video with me in it without me saying that I digress. Uh, what else? Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to putz on the lathe. Uh, got that bad boy uh, a while back. Most of you guys already know that. Oh, the, the hardware containers underneath. I am really hoping to get to that project as soon as possible. It is a pain in the butt because I always have to get the very bottom uh, container and it's just um, a mess. I have most of the components cut out in fact uh, here are a lot of the fixed shelves and I have a lot of the quarter inch MDF cut out for that and just yeah just a lot going on right now and uh, yeah so I just want to give you guys a quick update I'm gonna get knocking out on this uh, skeleton frame it's essentially like a drafting wise, I think they'd call it like a wireframe, but a wireframe washer and dryer. And then tomorrow, I hope to get on the uh, the half wall and some of the the furniture that I have to make for this particular set. And I'm hoping to videotape it all because I actually got a little bit more time than normal than I would on a theater set. But then also, it's it's not super in depth, so it'll give you a good idea of essentially what you could make in you know just an afternoon or something like that. And and you don't have to have, you know, like thickness planers and joiners and all sorts of table saws. And so it'll, it'll be a good project for that as well. Well, all right, I'm going to get to it. Uh, you guys, I hopefully have a good day. See you guys later. I apparently can't press the stop record. Nope, still.